I hope everybody is having a wonderful mid-August. Got good news and bad news. The good news is we're gonna talk about inflation. I know that's everybody's favorite topic these days. So we're gonna take a deep dive into it. The bad news is in Houston, we still have September coming. So keep the shorts and the t-shirts going, okay? So let's dive into it. Inflation overall, as reported in July, positive. Consumer price index, which is the broad measure of inflation, was down 1.3%, primarily due to energy prices. So energy prices are hovering around $90 a barrel. They have been for a little while, and that has really helped slow down that inflationary growth. Um, we're still positive, you know, 8.8.5% positive, but it's slowing it down, which is good news. Let's talk about the other less common forms of inflation that are measured. Producers price index was down a half a percent from July to July, from June to June. So half a percent decline. That measures the cost, the price producers are receiving for the goods and services they're selling. It often is a very lagging inflationary indicator. So that is a good sign that it's, it's coming down. The import price index, which is another component of overall inflation, the cost of imported goods was down 1.4%, which again is a good positive sign. There is one area though that's not so positive yet, and that's food prices. Food prices continue to grow. They rose 1.1%. Why is that? Well, food is largely driven by labor costs and not just the price of the commodity. So labor costs is the difficult measure area to measure. So in May, let's take May for instance. In May, only 8% of the cost of food could actually be attributed to farm production. The rest was the supply chain. Processing, trade, and other services that make up the cost of our food. In fact, 52% of your food costs is just salaries and wages. So benefits, you know, the cost of, of people getting and in, in earning a living in that supply chain. With a tight labor market, which is what we're in, salaries and benefits tend to stay high. That may be difficult when it comes to seeing food prices decline or stabilize. Because what comes with a loosening labor market, typically deepening recession. So it's a, it's a give and take there. But that is the one area in July we didn't see much positive improvement. In fact, it went the other way. But energy improvements are a positive sign and certainly investors welcomed it. July was a great month in the market. So far, August has turned, started pretty good. So from a stock market investor standpoint, energy prices, it looks like matter a whole lot. Um, so is that does that inflation number. So with the two combined in July, it turned out to be quite the positive month. Are we short-term investors though, focused on just what's going on in the market today? No, we wanna stay long-term focused and long term, this inflationary problem is not going away anytime soon. So I read something the other day that said even if inflation went to 0% now, like today, which is not happening, but even if it did, we would not hit the Fed's target inflation, so 2% is the target of the CPI measurement, until at April of 2023 at the earliest. So what does that mean? Well, that means we're not going to 0% today. That means April of 2023 would be the earliest we could see the Fed hit its target from inflation. So obviously, it's going to, this is not a months-long problem. This is a years-long problem. Does that mean as an investor we should panic? Absolutely not. We've talked about this a lot in a lot of videos. Don't panic. That doesn't mean the market's going to go down tomorrow significantly. And it may or may not. Again, we're not short-term focused. What it means though, is as a consumer, we can expect the cost of the things we buy to stay quite high, if not increasing for some time longer. Where do we go from here? We stay focused on the long-term, we have to. We stay focused on the long-term achieving goals, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 years down the road, which means we don't panic, we don't make emotional decisions. Hope everybody has a great day. Hope everybody has a great week. Talk to you soon.